Hey uh, everyone, Miyasity here. We're about to go see what Lady Arana wanted here. I think she basically wanted us to go punch a hole in the defenses Torians had here in Itram. So we're, let's go read this contract here quick. Proceed to Itram where you will assist the Restoration Army's efforts to liberate House Gallus enemy will be fighting from a position of relative isolation. To take advantage of this, we suggest a land slowdown built to maximize ra rapid damage dealing potential. Heat management will also be essential. Further details will be provided to you upon your arrival. I have heard stories about Itram Carlton. Half of the planet is supposed to be nice. The other half is a toxic, irradiated desert where sensors and communications don't work properly. Guess which half you'll be fighting on. Oh, joy. It doesn't tell me which biome I'm kind of going to be in either. That's uh, something I just noticed. So, Behemoth and the main character are out, basically forcing me to use these characters. Unless I wait a few days for Behemoth here. I want the Zeus. I want the Highlander. We kind of reworked the Battlemaster, so I'm hoping that it'll be okay. Now, the other thing we can do, because I reworked... I thought I reworked the catapult. May not have been the catapult. It was the Jaeger. Okay. I reworked the Jaeger, so it's a lot less heat intrusive. So we can bring that, but if it runs out of missiles, it runs out of missiles and it's worthless. That being said, the only other options we have are to bring lower tonnage mechs and hope for the best on Martian stuff. So let's see where this gets us. Welcome to the Badlands of Itrom, Commander. The sands of this desert are rich in exotic elements that play havoc with electronic sensors and communications. Without the use of House Gallus' signal boosting equipment, you won't even be able to receive this message. Badlands are a gold mine of rare earth metals and fizzle materials? Is that how you pronounce that? Fizzle? The Directorate has seized control of House Gallus' largest processor and refinery. They're getting ready to move a year's supply of exotic materials off-world. I need you to capture at least one of those silos for the restoration. Choose a target, engage its defenders, and destroy them. Our recovery team will take care of the rest. You'll need to act quickly, though. The Directorate will wire the silos self-destruct if you give them the chance. The same radiation that's garbling the Directorate's long-range communications will render their sensors useless. You can detect them, but they won't even know you're there until you enter their direct line of sight. And the silos won't be able to communicate with one another. Because of this, I advise you to engage the silos one at a time, choose a target, and clear it of defenders before moving on to the next. If you're careful, you'll be able to hit all three silos, one after the other, and the Directorate's troops will be none the wiser. While capturing one working silo is your primary objective, we can always use more. The Restoration will pay an additional bounty for each silo you capture beyond the first. I mean, that sounds like a plan to me. I can move in fast and break them. He isn't the one that needs to do something, so... Not sure why I did that, but okay. Commander. Good to go. I 
doesn't seem like they're any the wiser, so I think I can ignore this one for now. Silo Charlie is under alert. Take it quickly before they have time to destroy it. Weapons hot, Charlie Lance. We've got incoming battle mechs. My position. Shadowhawk and Kakata. gonna do anything i have five rounds to take this one okay so that's not horrible Copy that. until she gets a bit closer. Is he gonna run away? I'm receiving you. I'm your spaniel. the vehicle goes now. Glitch always has uh, such enthusiasm about doing that.
deceiving you. I'll have him wait. He shot a lot of his missiles. I'm here. And we'll call melee. Locked on for physical attack. I think I hit something good. Is this gonna move in sight? It did briefly. Finish this one off. With another melee. It's two injuries, but I guess it's not enough. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, I thought she'd get a shot at him. I guess that he's out of any sight. Tell me what to do. Another hit like that and you're toast. Ready for order. Well, Jenner won't be uh, taking much more, so. Well done. Here we go. Don't blame him for trying to get away. Cool. That we can get now. Alright. SRM carrier. Surprised this thing didn't unload on me. Want to make sure that thing was gone. All right, and Jenner. Explosive defusal is a go, Commander Turner. Nicely done, Commander. The storage silo is ours. I'm marking an evac zone on your map. Whenever you're ready, you may proceed there for extraction. And well, might as well go get more. Where's this one? Alright, I think I can go in from that direction. On my way. Uh-huh. Acknowledged. Yep, there's one. Good to go. Let's move. Have him up here so he can just unload. Yes, Commander. Have her go down here. Which I think is still out of sight. I hear ya. She can follow. And Benagarian can. Berengarian. I still can't pronounce that name. They're still not aware of me. And we're gonna come in very hot. Silo Bravo has detected you. Move fast, Commander. You have a limited time before they destroy the silo. Alright, 
I'm debating how mean I want to be here because I only have 24 shots, which is 8 more rounds of combat. And I'm not sure it, what all is after this. Technically, I only need 3 to hit an area out of those 4. I think I'm going to turn the UAC off and then... And then trebuchet and a locust. So if I can get this locust in the back with the auto cannons before it moves and gets blips, I'm gonna be very happy about that. Commander. And we're just going to turn off the heat on the Battlemaster. Since that thing has 40% damage reduction. How many missiles do we have left? Moving out. He's just going to guard. Trench Bucket's going to do what now? Hit drop kick in the head, that's what. Receiving you. Well, on that note, I'm gonna reserve them just in case I get in range of this and it's a better shot. That seems like a good use of the auto cannons. And the lasers can still go at him. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. I'm going. Um. Full cell, though. We can do a bunch, I think. We're not gonna take him out. Reporting critical hit. Good to go. Then Glitchy can follow up and probably take out the trench bucket, and then Jaeger on the Centurion. No, but it does knock him down. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Well. Yes, give them everything you've got. I think we blew him apart. <laughs> I wonder what that Centurion's thinking right now. I'd want to get the heck out of Dodge. Need a medic. Need something, Chief? Um, alright, well... We're still gonna reserve with him. I want to save those missiles just in case. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna overheat. But, um, can probably tear them apart. for AC ammo there. Huh? Yes, Alright, well, Undertaker is going to have to finish him off. A knockdown. I will be done. Acknowledged. Yeah, not sure this is going to do the trick either. Head hit. Take that. Well done. Here we go. Wasn't sure that would be a thing. That's interesting. Um. Well, let's see what happens. We've set down combat engineers. They're securing the structure. Yeah, he's toast. I'm not sure why they have extra injuries, it looks like. Is that from morale? And then she's... Dropkick's not doing good here, guys. Moving to position. Heading out. On my way. Confirmed. On my way. Ten four. Good to go. I'm your spaniel. Moving to position. I copy. Alright, where is this one over there? So I'm gonna have to like come in through there. Is that the general gist? On my way. I mean I'm okay with that. And I'll have no heat whatsoever. Suppose I might have been able to go that way. Sorry, my my cat jumped on the back of my chair, which is like an office chair. It's not one of those that has a big back, so <laughs> I was a little surprised. She really wants to play right now, so I'll have to do that once I'm done with this. Uh, oh, well, we got, I'll move him there so he's harder to see. I 
probably can move him like right in there and just toss missiles. So I don't think they'll see me there. I'm ready. Calling ass. He almost reminds me of SpongeBob when he talks like that. I'm ready. Can can I say that? You, I I don't think I'll get in trouble for that. Yep, I can target this entire field <laughs> and not be seen. <laughs> this is gonna be fun for him. I'm your spaniel. I've never heard anyone say under Staniel. She can wait. Keeping my heat low. Holding for tactical advantage. Oh, she's here. She's still not going to be seen, I think. Still not going to be seen because we just want to charge in here and wreck havoc. Orders. And not seen. Okay. We're we're set up to do this, guys. Roger that. Digging in. It's kind of funny that they still don't know I'm here. But they will now. Let's do this drop kick. Got a blackjack. We got a commando. Silo Alpha has detected your presence. Act quickly, Commander. If you give them enough time, they'll set the silo to self destruct. Alpha Lance, fall in on my position. I've got eyes on the enemy. Uh oh. Blackjack. Commando. Griffin and an SRM carrier. Well, you know I'm not letting this thing stay. I think I just blasted that thing halfway across the planet. Alright, Varangarian. Let's take out the commando because it's lighter. Well, I think this thing has like a targeting computer or something on it. Never mind, I guess we're going at the blackjack because we can hit it. I'm very tempted to have her jump somewhere. Actually. No, okay. Wonder if she can actually take him out. Wow. Gotcha. What's up, boss? So, they'll know I have missiles. They're just not going to know where from. Go. 
Oh, that little prick. And then the griffin. Notice how they hit around all of my mechs, not just like him and got a uh, stray shot. Okay. So here's the plan. I guess I can't do that. I, I'm going to try to knock him down. Improves heat sinking ability by 50%. Hey, Commando. jump <laughs> did his life flash before his eyes I'm receiving you then he can go here and still get ice Unfortunately, he needs to turn off some lasers. Still got the knockdown. That's not what I said to do. Then we can turn one of these off so she doesn't get overheat. No matter what, he's knocked back down. A critical hit. What can I do for you? Got it. Engineers deployed. They're defusing the charges now. Good work, Commander. Thanks to you, the Director has suffered a major setback, and we've gained a valuable new asset. Yeah, three cheers, if, if you'll excuse us, Lady Arano. We need to get these mechs hosed down and decontaminated. Come on, Commander. Yang's got a great big tub of poor on, and he's just a dying to use it. Commander, the area's been cleared. Darius has given me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. Mission successful. All right, wow, okay, 25% increase for both Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, so that's a 75% increase there. Dropkick is injured for 30 days because of those head injuries, but otherwise, no damage to any mechs. And we have a laundry list of stuff we can take. We can get Infinity A Trebuchet, we can get a new large laser, and there's a medium laser with a 50% crit.
I think those are the... I don't like large lasers as much as I do SRM6s. SRM6 has a 50% crit on it. That's not as worth it. So yeah, uh, I think these are our best bets. Um, What else did we get? We still got that large laser. We got a few other things. So Revelations. Lady Rano. After almost two years of directorate imprisonment, I'd nearly lost hope for myself, for Itrum, for the entire Oregon Reach. I owe you my eternal gratitude, all of you. Because of your actions, the Directorate's hold on Itrum has been broken, and my people have been saved. That's what we're here for, Lady Gallus. Yes, it is. But their continued survival is anything but certain. I'm going to be honest with you, Lady Gallus. I had to wade through a sea of blood to reach Itrum. My army is war-weary and outgunned in the reaches on the verge of being overrun. So if you know anything that can help us, I need you to share it with me. Yes, Lady Arano, I can help you. I know where you can find what you'll need to break the Directorate's alliance with the Torian Concordant. You need to travel to Goldura, Lord Madeira's home system. That's right, if you search the Madeira archives, you'll find what you need. Over the past three years, House Madeira has collected a treasure trove of incriminating evidence on House Espinosa. An insurance policy, so to speak. Find it and deliver it to Protector Calderion, and our Torian problems are over. These archives are DNA locked to my family. If we're going to access this insurance policy, I'll need to travel there myself. And hopefully not at the head of the army. You've seen what war has done to Itrom. I pray that Caldara can be spared from the same fate. Alexander, I... A thunderous roar cuts Lady Galdaris's sentence short. An image of your view screen cuts to nothing. Lady Gallus, Samantha, can you hear me? Holy shit, Lady Rano. The sensors are picking up evidence of a massive fuel air explosion in the capital. Castle Gallus is gone. Yet another mass murder to hold Espinosa accountable for. Vengeance comes later. People are dying down there. Alexander... Get emergency services to the capital. Medical teams, combat engineers, whoever you can find. We need to search the wreckage for survivors. I'll dispatch forces right away, Camilla, but I must return home. I will travel with the appropriate bodyguard, but otherwise I need to go alone. Lady Gallus was right. We've lost too much already. I won't see the army move on Gal Galdra. Not if I can do the job myself. Alexander, no. I won't allow it. I can't afford to lose you. Kamiya, please. I am duty-bound to see this through. Galdra is a core system, a veritable fortress. If we attempt an evasion, there will be terrible losses on both sides. I won't allow that. Not if I can achieve our goal another way. And I am confident that I can accomplish the goal th through subterfuge, but our army could not. The recovery of evidence we need, without unnecessary bloodshed. I am your loyal servant and friend, Kamiya. I have always been, but I am also a Madeira, and I have a responsibility to protect Galdra from harm. You of all people should understand that. This is his family we're talking about. He should be the one to deal with them. Yes, he should. And as much as I hate it, I understand. Very well, my old friend. You may go if you must. Now know how you feel every time you insist on leading a combat mission. Not a good feeling, is it? Go. Get us the leverage we need. We'll hold the line against the Torians for as long as we can. I know you will. We can win this, Kamiya. We will win this. We all know what we need to do, so let's get to it. You heard the commander. Get back to your stations, everyone. We've got a war to win. The Trebuchet TBT-5N, one of the lightest dedicated fire support mechs to be found. The Trebuchet 5N can mount enough missiles to give even heavy units pause. However, trench buckets are known for running hot and don't have much in the way of protection. So that got a little heavy for a moment, but once again, I think we're hitting the tail end of the campaign. I think... It's coming to a close, and it's just um, kind of showing more about what the Espinosas are capable of, but don't quote me on that, and giving you more of a reason to not like the bad guys. That being said, I think we need to do more missions until <laughs> we hear back from, I think it's Madeira now, who we need to actually hear back from, not Kamiya for once. So we're going to do that next time. Uh, 
should only be one or two missions. I don't think it'll be a three again. We're going to focus on getting as many good parts as we can, as much money as we can to outfit our mechs. And then just blast through the last few missions. Um, as always, if you guys want to see how I'm doing stuff, leave stuff down in the comments. I'll get to what I can if I need to make an additional video or two about how stuff's outfitted. Um, how I go about doing the stuff, um, I'll go ahead and do that. It's fun for me. I really like doing those kinds of things, so making a video about it should be fun for everyone who wants that. I'm having a blast making these videos, so I really do hope everyone who's actually watching them has been enjoying them. That being said, if you want to uh, give any tips on what I, you would like to see in the future, or any games you want to see in the future, leave that in the comments down below as well. I do have plans for games, but I'm always looking for insight, how I can do things better, and generally what people want, because I'm new to this, I'm new to the editing, I'm kind of figuring out what I'm doing, but <laughs> things happen, and I can always learn more, I can always learn better. Insight from other people is always at least somewhat better than things you slowly learn on your own, I think at least. So with that being said, um, I thank you all so much for watching these it's been such a blast. We're, we're going to go out with a bang on this in the last few episodes, I have a feeling. And I do wish you all the best and to have a good one.